thank you for visiting the My Rita Minutes. If you are new here, welcome. Everything on this channel is alleged in my opinion and done for entertainment purposes only. So Miss Nell has come back and responded to the Lexi interview. I was hoping that she wouldn't say anything. I was hoping that they just deaded this and just not gave it any life. You know, Lexi came out, vented, told her truth, and you just should have let her go on her way. However, Miss Nell felt like she needed to come and clear the air. Uh, she went live, uh, getting ready for, you know, to join her daughter to celebrate their birthdays. And um, came on, you know, for a little bit and just basically said that everything... You know, it was a lot of lies told, she said. She didn't say everything was a lie. She said there was a lot of lies told and that she will, her and Chris, would be addressing them. Now, um, she told us that we had to wait, though. <laughs> we have to wait until season seven. And, you know, they will address it then. Um, she's going to bring all the receipts and, you know, to let us know that she ain't played no side chick to nobody. That's not how she gets down. I believe that to a degree. I believe that. But again, again, this happened on 10 years ago, Miss Nell. We really don't care. I like Miss Nell. I think she seems she comes across as a sweetheart. You know, um, I still want them to be on the show as a voice of reason. Like this is the mature couple that, you know, we could go to for advice and, you know, tips on how to make things work. Because clearly they've been through some things and, you know, that's what they should be there for. Like, you know, to just to guide the others along. Cause I don't know, more so and Letitia, even though they act like they got together, they don't. <laughs> Kimmy, Mar Maurice, they act like they got together, but mm, I don't know. It's a lot to remain to be seen there. But anyway, she told us we have to wait until season seven. Now, one other thing, um, Miss Nell, do we get the receipts the first 15 episodes or do we got to wait till the second 15 episodes, <laughs> you know, because you know how Love and Marriage Huntsville, you know, how they run their episodes. Now, they are the longest running reality show for one season that I've ever seen in my life. You know, everybody usually gets 10 shows, right? No, they get 30. <laughs> so. It'll be interesting. Now, if this is just, you know, you feel like, Miss Nell, you need to address this, then go ahead and address it. If this gives you your storyline for season seven, go ahead and do what you need to do. Get This is this is a good storyline. You know, people like to hear mess. Um, I honestly, you know, don't have a dog in this fight. So it's like, whatever, whatever you want to share with us, share. I don't, you know, like I said, that happened until years ago. I just hope that whatever you come out with puts it to bed. And Lexi and her mom don't feel like they need to come back and say, nope, because we have these dates. Here are my divorce papers. This is when you got pregnant. This is when Kayla was born. I mean, if they break it down like that, Miss Nell, you don't want them to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want them to do that. Um, I'm just saying. I'm not saying any of that I just said was factual because it ain't. It was just something that I can see this, you know, getting run in the down the rabbit hole. We don't want to do the same thing we did with Melody and Martel. That them going back and forth talking about what they've been going through for the last five, six years. We don't we don't want to we don't want to replay that. Okay. Um and she says her and Chris are gonna address it, then fine. If Chris says two words, I'll be surprised about that. Because <laughs> we know he don't talk. I was looking at a clip, not this morning actually, I was looking at a clip of Melody and Martel going at it on the back porch, I think it was, of Nell and Chris's house. And how, you remember that clip where he goes in talking about how he, reason why he went outside the marriage, he found somebody that, you know, did what she wouldn't do, and she threw that glass at him. I watched Chris the whole entire time of that scene. He sat there and said nothing, looked straight ahead. He had no words. He did not do anything. Now, he had a verbal cue. When Martel was talking and he was like, I told you what you wasn't doing. I told you what I needed, blah, 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 blah. And you look when 
when the camera panned on Chris, he was shaking his head like, "Mm mm-hmm, yes, like that. That was it. That's all he had. And Miss Nell was doing the talking. Okay. So, like I said, if he addresses this Lexi interview and says anything other than what Miss Nell is saying, you know, I'll be shocked because he don't say too much or anything. He said, look, I'm just here. He didn't been through what he gonna be, has been through. He don't want his stuff coming out. He ain't saying too much. He better not say too much because if he out there doing stuff now, as these people do, they will come out of the woodwork. And if he stays quiet, he feel like, you know, mm-mm. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> That's the safe way to be, Miss Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris. We gonna her Miss Nell. I guess we had to call him Mr. Chris. Anyway, that's my two cents. Um, she acknowledged it wasn't true, and we'll have to wait and see what she gives us during this season of Love Marriage Huntsville. I think they're filming now. It's another sale, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's free. Helps put me out in the algorithm. Please like this video. Please subscribe. And meet me in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about her just coming out for three or four minutes saying they're all lies. Was that her really responding? Or was that her letting us know y'all need to tune in to Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 7? Was she promoting the show? Because she's on it now full time. Meet me in the comments and let me know what you think. Y'all have a great day. Peace.